Meanwhile, another state senator is taking on an opponent even bigger than a big city mayor. For the fifth year in a row, Senator Foster Campbell is pressing a huge new tax on refineries in Louisiana. Capital correspondent Julie Baxter has our story. Exxon announces $17 billion in profits last year, the most in corporate history. One senator says if Louisiana taxed all the foreign oil refined in Louisiana, it would raise $2 billion, four times the amount gambling taxes are now pumping into the state budget. We do not have the courage in Louisiana to really try to solve our long-term problems. Our problem is that we are more worried about the special interests and the lobbyists than the people of the state of Louisiana, and that is downright sickening to me. The oil industry counters that it already provides $8 billion and 10,000 jobs to Louisiana's economy, and it doesn't argue its clout at the Capitol. We don't defend that. What we try to do is present the impact of legislation, what it will mean to Louisiana. We think that this tax is not in the best interest of the citizens of Louisiana and certainly not in the best interest of the businesses here. But Campbell is not quit. giving up. Well, the reason I don't quit is because it's right. And I'm not going to quit fighting because it's the right thing to do. And the state of Louisiana is on the wrong end of the stick when it comes to a fair deal. Senator Campbell blames special interests for not being able to pass this oil processing tax over the last five years or so. But now he must gather some special interests of his own, like education and anti-gambling forces, who could benefit from an oil processing tax, and come again next year when the legislature can talk about taxes to try to pass his measure once again. Julie Baxter, WAFB 9 News.